guys, Ron Simone Jr. here. One Stop Realty Shop Net You That After School Challenge. So we're coming to you today with that special Sunday, that blessed Sunday morning message. Guys, I want you to think about one thing. And again, only one thing. And all you idiots out there, all you idiots that watch my videos or read my posts, all of you idiots out there either watch my video in full or read my post in full. And if you'd like to debate, I love a great debate. I love a great argument. If you would like to debate or you would like to argue my comment, my comment, the subject about what I am talking about, great, fine, but be educated in it. Know your role. Know the information because if not, Again, don't let the big dumb jock fool you. I'm way smarter than I look. And you people come in to my posts, to my page, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. We understand that. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. In a quarter mile, sharp gonna, right onto New Jersey 35. If you're going to argue with me, argue about what I'm talking about. Don't come into a group or a page or, or a wall and start arguing something totally different. Totally different, because you sound stupid, you sound ignorant, and you should just go bury your head in a hole and suffocate yourself, because you're stupid, because you're stupid, okay? Now, let's look at, let's look at the process of the world. We already know that the news is fake. We already know that. And you people need to stop being so ignorant and believing everything you see on the news. We already know that the government tells you what they want you to know. We already know that the movies, Hollywood, that, 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 um, what you call it? Uh, the news, the media is all influenced by the government. It's all influenced by somebody. And you're, unless you're in China, unless you're in Russia, unless you're there to watch somebody get murdered, you don't know the whole story. You just know the bits and pieces that you're being fed to by a bunch of ignorant, mind-controlling assholes. And you guys go to war. You guys go to war with each other over the manipulation of other people. That's what's hysterical to me. So let's look at it, though. Let's look at the process. So our morals and values are normally influenced by people, okay? So, who are the people that influence our morals, our values, and our beliefs? So, let's start first. Parents. Parents have a child. Parents raise a child. Children believe their parents' beliefs. So, you stupid asses, you stupid asses out there have to start pointing the finger at yourself. My man MJ, and I don't mean Michael Jordan, even though he's one of the greats too. My man MJ said it first. Look at the person in the mirror. In the mirror. Look at the person in the mirror first because that's where your ignorant ass, lazy ass, stupid ass kid is getting his information from and morals and values from. Okay? So let's talk about the parents. Anybody that is a parent out there has to realize that it's a job being a parent, a job being a full-time parent and doing your job to raise your kids. Most of you are lazy and don't raise your kids the proper way. Most of you expect somebody else like your parents or a babysitter because you're all out there chasing the mighty dollar to raise your kids. Okay, but let's go back to the process. So then kids get older and what happens? They go to school. And if anybody started really realizing what's going on in schools, is again the same thing. You're being fed what people want you to know. Somebody else's history. You weren't there in history. You don't know the whole story. You are supposed to, as a rational human being, be able to take in information everywhere and form your own opinion. Form your own identity. Because if not, you're all sheeple following the herd okay so right now you have the parents all right 
We have the parents who influence their kids. Then kids go to school and schools, the curriculum, the educational system influences your kids and people, the way they're brought up, the way they're raised. They're, they're, um, all right, don't move out of the way or anything. Their morals, their values, okay? So somebody else's history is being taught to kids. Somebody else is telling you what your kid needs to do as a prerequisite in order to pass their school, okay? Now, again, let's, let's talk about you have maybe a few options after high school. You become a drug addict, failure loser, and get addicted to something, okay, and probably wind up killing yourself. You go to the military where, again, a bunch of brainwashing, a bunch of what you should be doing according to somebody else, okay? Or you go to a job, again, working for somebody for a dollar, underpaid, okay, in order to do something that somebody else wants done their way, their way, not yours, okay? You either open your own business or you go to college and put yourself in debt to go to class, to go to class based on what somebody is telling you you should do based on people telling you what you should believe. So where is the freedom? Where is the freedom that everybody talks about in the greatest country in the world? Where is the freedom? Where are the options? There are no options. There are no freedom. We're still in a time of kings and queens and rodents and, and, and people that to make you laugh, gestures. It's all still there, guys. They just call it different things to make you submissive, okay? Programming is all over the TV, is all over the internet. That's why it's called programming, to program your mind. And you idiots fall right into it because guess what? It's too hard to do the research. It takes too much time. You're too busy doing somebody else's deeds and what somebody else wants instead of making your own decisions, instead of researching, instead of pulling in information everywhere. No, it's easier to jump one side of the fence. It's easier because people like easy. The hard way, nobody likes. Everybody likes taking the easy way out. The people that make it in this world, the people that make a difference, don't go riot. Don't go cause problems. They find a solution and make the solution happen. They find a solution. And everybody tells you, oh, what could you do? What could you do? It's just what you're only one person. You're only one person. Remember that everything in this world, people are all followers. People want to be led. They want to eat the cheese and chase you down. One person, one person can start a change. One person can start a revolution. One person can do something about it. But everybody wants to run their mouth because that's all we are as a society of internet and telephone tough guys. Everybody wants to run their mouth to everybody. The whole reason that we're in this mess is because they're trying to make people, they're trying to make rules for people, but they don't follow the rules of people. And again, a police officer, a military person, they're all human beings too. Giving them power over somebody else. Absolute power corrupts absolutely 1,000%. If you don't believe that, you're an idiot. Not all cops are bad. Not all people are bad. It's the ignorant ones that abuse their powers. You can't take, you can't take something out on everybody. Everybody. You can't take something out on everybody because all you're doing is being ignorant and generalizing. So guys, think about the process. Think about what you're being told. Think about what you're being fed. And think about how much of a little sheep you are following the herd because you're too lazy to get up off of your ass and do something about it or try try and make a change. A grain of sand change is a change. But you guys don't ever think about that. Instead, you go about making your point, the right point, the wrong way way the wrong way 
Remember, guys, all it takes is one stop. Hashtag net you. That after school challenge. Caffeine or water. Guys, we're all the same people. Ain't nobody better than nobody else. Somebody may have more money. Somebody may have a bigger house. But guess what? That's what's there for. For people to be in debt into the country. Into the government. And then you guys are all overpassing these child touching creeps that are politicians and abuse their power. These celebrities, because they have money, think what the fuck they can do. Think what the fuck they can do and get away with it because you people are stupid and ignorant and chase the dollar and take payoffs and take payoffs. Your pride's way, way, way more expensive than a payoff from somebody else to keep your mouth shut. A bunch of sheeple. Nobody's talking about all the pedophile rings. Nobody's talking about girls getting raped. Nobody's talking about kids. Kids, you sick fucks. Kids getting touched. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about the elite groups in the world because they run the world. You think the president is somebody in this country? Little puppet, little puppet. You see all the guys? The fall guys. The mob was good because they had everybody who was a fall guy. The head guy never went and he kept it running because they're even trained to be a part of something to be a part of something because half the people didn't have anything else in life besides that and if you ever look at all the rulers in this country they always go after the weak-minded people they always go after the weak-minded people because weak-minded people can't think for themselves it's time you start thinking about things for yourself stop being a sheeple and stop being ignorant and talking about all these comments we promote the hate facebook instagram social media the TV, movies, all permit, all promote the hate, all promote separation. Stop promoting it. Stop being the problem. Remember, guys, all it takes one stop pass. Say that net you the after school challenge. I don't give a shit if you agree with me. I don't give a shit if you don't like me. I'm not the Beatles. I'm not trying to be liked by everybody. But you're never gonna find another better business person and somebody more level headed that doesn't think ignorantly thinks after he makes his information, takes the information, and comes up with his own hypothesis. We got to get out of here, guys. We're your real estate superheroes for a, re for a reason. We're here to tell you the truth every day. We don't care if you like it. We don't care if you don't agree with it. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, but it's still talking shit. We got to get out of here.